before you watch this video, make sure to catch up with my previous two marathon updates. Um, but yeah, on to the third one. So this is now week nine, 50 days to go. Crazy how quickly the weeks ago. But yeah, to round up this week, I didn't have netball this week, um, it wasn't on, so I did a 30 minute wait session and 15 minute sort of like cardio dance thing at the end for a bit of fun. And the first actual session of the week was track. It was a pyramid session going 400, 800, 1200, 1600 and then back and then with sort of 90 seconds ish recovery in between. I need to get better at these, my pace, <laughs> just it's always the first ones kind of pretty quick and then after that we struggled to get back up there. I'll pop up the um, pace breakdown but yeah, not idea, I need to work on that. Then my next run was on Friday, it was an 80 minute run, I really didn't fancy doing that one in the dark so I decided to get my run over and done with in the morning. I actually really enjoyed it, I think it's quite nice like going out and then gradually seeing the sunrise. I went to park run on Saturday. I actually did a pretty good job at keeping that a steady pace. Started further back so that I wouldn't get carried away and go off with all the quicker people. Day, Sunday long run. A bit different today, it was an interval session. I actually really enjoyed that. I'd set it up as a workout on the Garmin Connect app. So it would flash up on my screen the section I'm working on and that's it. It would also show the pace range that I wanted to be in. So the session was to do two and a half hours with the last 90 minutes um, doing 10 minute efforts at marathon pace and then five minute recoveries. It was pretty cruel though. I'd say I think it's three out of the four hills were all in my marathon efforts, not in my recoveries. It was like typical. Here's the paces. All of the run efforts were in that marathon pace range and actually slightly too quick. So that's good, but I need to improve on the discipline and keeping with keeping at the actual goal pace because you do not want to be going off too quick on marathon day. Much easier than my last run this one, even though it was the same distance. Because I actually took the right amount of jazz. Yeah, really positive end to week nine. Um, and I'll see you at week ten. week started off with netball on Monday um, and I did a bit of strength and conditioning on Tuesday. My knee's sort of been hurting a little bit, not in a bad way necessarily. It didn't feel as bad as when I've been injured with it before. Just felt a bit of a niggle so thought I'd throw in some sort of knee specific exercises and so far it's kept it at bay so hopefully that'll be fine. And then at track the session was for lots of 1200 um, with 400 recoveries. I actually had Ryan pacing me around because he was taking that session a little bit easier. I'll pop up the pace on screen there. We were aiming for 450s but it just didn't happen. I just couldn't speed up but it was very consistent so there's that at least. The same theme sort of continued on Friday's run as well. So in my head I thought I'd be aiming for 5, 5, 10, ended up doing 5, 20, but again pretty consistent. This must be having a slower week in the leg. Saturday, I didn't do park run, I had a match in the morning, um, but it was probably a good job because most of the park runs were cancelled anyway, there's been a lot of flooding and black ice as well. Luckily by the afternoon that had all melted away and I just did a quick 5 and a bit K, easy run, just stretching my legs out. Out of today's run, 2 hour 45 minute run, and the distance range was 24 to 26k. So I sort of planned it out thinking towards the 26k. Maybe I should actually start planning my routes accurately because I did have to run a bit further and longer. Ran in the completely opposite direction to what I've been running so far. So nice to do something completely new. I was sort of aiming as an easy pace, aiming for about 630s. Um, and I bring up my case. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think relatively consistent. My legs were knackered at the end. <laughs> I had to run up a bit of a hill um, throughout the fields and yeah, I was sort of dragging myself up that. So to fuel this run, I think it worked quite well. So I had some fruit and Greek yogurt this morning for breakfast. And then I took a gel at 10K and another one at about 15. Probably could have done with taking those a tad earlier actually, because I was feeling a bit lightheaded, but towards the end that had sorted itself out. Yeah, positive week again. Next week's similar, I think, just ramping it up a little bit more. Um, and then I think the week after that's the hardest one. 
and then we're getting on towards the tapering. Week 10 complete, six weeks to go now. I'll see you on week 11. Week 11, it was always gonna be a tough one because this is the biggest mileage week on my plan. Yeah, I didn't get off to the best start. I did struggle at track, so we had three one mile reps at track um, with supposedly 400 off, but I just took breaks because I don't know, I think when you slow down and jog slower, it kind of hurts your legs more sometimes. <laughs> didn't really get to the pace I wanted um, and was kind of wondering whether all these slow, slower runs has just massively slowed me down. Then I had my 80 minute run to do. Um, it's meant to be on Friday. Last time I did this, I did it on Friday morning. This time I pushed it to Thursday morning, so you can really tell I don't want to, <laughs> want to get it out of the way and get it done. But yeah, that went well. It went quicker than last time as well, um, and it didn't feel too tough. So yeah, I was quite pleased with that run. The next run I did was park run. Um, so we did our 500 subscriber special challenge. Quite nervous to see whether I could do it because obviously at track I've just not been quick at all. But I did manage a course PB and I wasn't actually far off my main PB either. So I don't know where that came from. <laughs> then I had a netball match that day. So I was glad I didn't die completely from it. And then Sunday's run, longest run ever and longest run until the marathon as well so I did 20 miles. It's a little bit more than what I put down on the plan but I sort of wanted to know that I'd run 20 miles because that's sort of what everyone says you should do. But it was so muddy, um, I was like slipping all over the place which did give me a few sort of walking sections. My shoes, they're lovely. They were white. <laughs> yeah, there we go in the washing machine. But yeah, stunning views, loved the hat and locks part even though that was the treacherous part to get to. <laughs> the last 2k were really tough, you can see from my cave. But we got there and I was actually quite proud of myself at the end. <laughs> That's 20 miles done, that was rough. Um, yeah, the last 2k were just horrific, but I'm so, I'm quite like overwhelmed to finish that. <laughs> So God knows what it'd be like on the actual marathon. Obviously you'd have more gels and more support, hopefully a bit flatter, there's none of the mud to worry about. So hopefully it'll all come together, but that's the peak of the plan done, thank God. <laughs> so glad that's it. But yeah, training will only get better from here, on the way back down now. So, got a bit of a walk back, but it'd be good to stretch my legs back down because they feel battered. <laughs> So week 12, it's been a busy week this one. I had netball training on Monday. On Wednesday I had track, which this week was a ravine. Starting with 1600, down to 1200, 800, 400, and then you go back up. Yeah, that session was a fair bit quicker than my previous track sessions have been. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. <laughs> Getting my speed back. I think I maybe was trying to overstride to speed up rather than increasing the cadence. Then on Friday, I did a morning run, which was 1K warm up, 1K cool down, um, with 30 minutes at seven out of 10 pace. Pace was okay, I'll pop it up here. Ideally it would have been quicker, but I'd only just woken up and hadn't eaten anything before I left, so. Well, that explains that one. And then the rest of the day it was basically a free S and C day because me and Ryan moved house. So lots of heavy lifting and shoving things about. And then Saturday, I could run to park run now. I did fall on the way there, hence the trip. But yeah, in the battle of me versus pavement, it's one nil to the pavement. So hopefully there will be no rematch. Stay tuned for tomorrow. Sunday was a three hour run. So the first two hours just at easy pace and the last hour at marathon pace. Um, so my target pace for that is sort of 540s, 545s. I wore my marathon shoes for that and I didn't get any blisters this time. So the tape under that bit that I could feel worked. The yeah, did well, here's my splits. Did much better than I thought at picking up at the end. It was also very rainy, which I thought would be awful, but 
actually there were way less people out and about so the pavements were a lot less chaotic. Yeah, I just stuck to Pat this time though. No muddy canal routes. <laughs> Ending the week on 55k. Here's my graph for this whole block. Definitely been the toughest block, I think. Like the long runs, it takes me ages to recover from them. My legs are like knackered for days. Now onto the tapering, which is worrying because that means the marathon is close. It's now four weeks away. On to our, our next, next adventure. adventure.